Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Gearhart. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be talking about some Christmas game gifts that you can give to your family, either under the tree or in the stocking. So if you're interested in my top list of games for the family, stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so a couple of these are oldies but goodies, but if you don't happen to have them in your collection, I just wanted to run them by you quickly. I was trying to find some games this year to put in stockings because I usually do a whole bunch of little kind of trinkets, little toys, things like that, but my kids are getting older. They range from 22 down to 10, and I wanted to kind of put in some things that would last beyond a week from you know just kind of dumb little toys and stuff. So um, aside from the goodies that go in there, I thought, what if I put in some new card games that we could then enjoy throughout the entire Christmas holiday, the times that we're off over New Year's and into next year. So first off for Under the Tree, I've got a couple of really fun games. And the first one is Sequence. If you have not seen Sequence, this is a game where you have a board and a set of cards and you are trying to make a sequence of five in a row and you can play alone or you can play with teams. It is how many players? I think it's three up to, or two up to 12. We have never played this with 12. We've played it I think up to six and um, it's really, really fun, super simple to learn, really fun game. The next one is an oldie but a goodie as well. This is the game Pit. And this is basically a trading commodity game. You're basically on the stock market and you are trading to try and corner the market. And once you corner the market by trading all your cards, you hit this bell and you have won. This is very fast paced, very loud, very loud. So um, do this when there are not little children sleeping. Really loud, but super fun group game. Really highly recommend Pit. Then as far as ones that will fit in stockings, I have six options here, and actually seven, I can't find one of them. Shocking, a game has gone missing. And that one actually is Five Crowns. Really fun card game, really easy to learn. Lots of people can play it, Five Crowns. Second, phase 10, awesome game trying to go through 10 phases and be the first to complete that. Of course, no card game can be talked about without mentioning Uno. It's a classic, gotta have it. These are the new ones that I have come across. There is one that we have been playing nonstop since Thanksgiving and we just can't get enough of it. It's very simple, anyone from seven or eight older could play this. You can play anyone from two to eight players. It takes about 30 minutes to complete a round. Really fun. This one is called Sky Joe. And the cards look like this. They range from negative two all the way up to 12. You will place 12 of them face up in front of you in a square pattern. And the object of the game is to basically exchange high cards for low cards and have the least amount of points possible when you go out and the first person that goes out is on the hook to have the lowest amount of points. If anybody beats you, you've got to double your points. So you don't really want to go out until you know that you have the lowest points. It's a very simple game to learn. I mean, really simple. One round and everybody's got it. And so it seems like it might be a little bit boring, but it is highly addictive. It's not boring at all. We've tested this from a 10 year old all the way up to a 45 year old and everybody loves it. And we play it all the time. We've been playing it nonstop. Really recommend this game, really fun, highly rated on Amazon. I'll have all these linked in the description box below so it's easy to find. Now these last three I can't actually endorse because I have purchased them for this year's stockings, so I hope nobody's watching this. Um, but they came really highly rated on Amazon. I read a whole bunch of reviews from people who have purchased these and played these and they seem to be really fun. So this one is called Blink and uh, it is the world's fastest game, hence the name Blink. And it says it's a lightning fast game where two players race to be the first to play off all of their cards. Using sharp eyes and fast hands, players quickly try to match the shape, count, or color of the cards, and the first player out of cards wins. So 
This actually is only for two players. So this would be really fun for couples or your kids to get together and just play. And this is recommended for age seven and up. Really highly rated. So we're gonna be checking this out on Christmas. And uh, this just looked like a fun stocking stuffer for one of my kiddos. This next one is a brain game. It has over 200 puzzles. It's called Canoodle. It's a caboodle of brain teasing puzzles recommended age seven to adult. And it looks like this, so definitely would fit in a stocking. And it has a whole bunch of different games on the back. Everybody seemed to love this. This was like a favorite. And this I also saw at Target, but I'll also have it linked below. Really fun, looks like a lot of fun. And then the last one, this is four to six players, age seven and older. And this one is called Grandpa Bex Cover Your assets and this game says that it is a battle to become the first millionaire by building a stack of matching pairs of asset cards be careful though your top set of assets can be stolen by other players if they hold a matching card or a wild card cover your assets by adding a pair to your stack or make a play to steal the assets of others fast-paced competitive and more than a little addicting love addicting games. So again, I have not played this one, but highly rated on Amazon from all of my research here, and it looks like it'll be a fun game. So that is it for today's video. These are my recommendations for games. I highly encourage you to get together, go around a table with your family, play some games this holiday season, and just have some good laughs along with it. Our family loves playing games, and I think these are a few good options to get you started. I hope that you have found something new in this stack that I've shared with you. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one, as well as makeup tips, marriage tips, parenting, family stuff, food recipes, all that kind of stuff. So if that's of interest to you, hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified of every video that I post. Also, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anybody who you think might be interested in checking out some games for Christmas. Have a very Merry Christmas, stay inspired, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.